Why this PoE injector can output 90 watt? In the standard PoE, PoE Plus, they only can output 30 watt. But with the, this new PoE injector, it's taking all the four twist pair to send the power. If you cut off this KFIE Ethernet cable, you can find there's all, totally four twist pair. In the OPOE standard, only half of the twist pair is being used to send the power. But now, this new PoE injector taking all the four twist pair to send the power to your edge device. That also means your edge device must be capable to take the power from all twist pair. If your edge device only support PoE and PoE Plus but not the new PoE standard, the PoE injector only will release 30 watt. It will not, you are not going to get the full power from the PoE injector. This is one of the reasons. The second thing is about the protocol. In the old standard like PoE, PoE Plus, the, old, the protocol is pretty much very standard. Everybody uses the same. But for the new PoE, like the BT, now it's domain the market. But before, we still have the UPoE, uh, legacy PoE, also PoH. So, you know, when the PoE, all the PoE send the power to the HDY, they need to verify and classify your HDY it's capable to receive the high power. For example, if this PoE injector is used the BT protocol to try to talk to your edge device, but your edge device only support POH, even POH also belong to the high power PoE system, the PoE injector will not release the 90 watt power to your edge device. The reason is because during the power hand, during the releasing the power, there has power hand shaking. If the PoE injector cannot verify your edge device also, support the high power, it just will downgrade to the PoE Plus, so just send the 30 watt power. Fortunately, we do have multiple options. We can use the, like the legacy BT, UPoE, UPoE, also the POH. When you switch to the window, it support both UPoE and POH. The first one is the PoE BT. The next thing I would like to talk about is the grounding. Why grounding is so important? We're supposed to use the Ethernet cable to connect the PoE injector to your edge device and to send the power through the Ethernet cable. That means if there is search around the environment, the cable will maybe pick up the search and the search will travel through the cable to your edge device. If we have ground the PO injector properly, it could be the PO injector may release the search to the ground. We can, in order to have the grounding, we can either using the power cooked or this grounding spot. Alright, now let me just take a few seconds to pick up all, put all the things together to try to power up the camera. The first thing is I will need to pick the punch code, this punch code and link the data port to our router. So it's going to get the data from the router. Right, the second, I also need this long cable, this is the KFIE cable, to connect the injector to the camera. Now let's connect the injector to the camera. And let's move to the camera end and also plug, plug in the Ethernet cable. There's one more last thing, it's about the power. We still need the power source for the PoE injector. So we'll connect the AC power to the PoE injector. But don't worry, it's not the AC travels through this Ethernet cable. The injector will convert the AC to DC 48 to 55. So it's a safety DC travels through this Ethernet cable. Now we can see the camera is running, which means the whole system, the camera is getting the power. Alright, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.